quite a few changes um, and an awful lot to do. So I thought I would just provide a quick layout update as we get towards the end of May. Here we go. So quite a bit of change and development in the layout, so I thought I'd do a quick update. Starting at the left, I have started to build the container yard. I've lowered the section as you can see, and at the same time I put a base coat of Woodland Scenics Olive Drab. Next is to put the uh, Envirotex light for which I'm waiting for some uh, Woodland Scenic um, colouring to go in it to make it uh, murky, as you'd expect in a container yard. And then we'll have uh, a layer of mod Mod Podge matte at the top to create some ripple effects. So that's waiting to arrive. In terms of the front layer to that, moving over to the right here, there is a large sheet of two millimetre Perspex sitting on this bench. Um, that will be cut to provide a clear front and also a clear side. That, that bit of boards there just to catch the uh, uh, Avaratex when I pour it. I'll, I'll put one along the front as well. I've also tidied things up. <laughs> it makes a huge difference, I know, putting a, a layer of black along the front just to try and uh, keep, uh, keep everybody at home happy that it doesn't look a complete state. Anyway, um, the goods yard, I've been struggling with the layout a little bit. Um, what I've decided to do is have my um, three main lines going over the container, a couple of extra lines for another industry. Those will then come through a throat down to one. Now I was going to have that joining this main line, which would then go to the station. But the reality here is that I, that means having crossovers, double slips on angled boards, and I really, that's way beyond me. So I made it simple and keeping a, it's going to go down throat to one lane. That will then go along here next to this rising piece, which is then next to the branch line and will disappear and will then go underneath my raised board. And thank goodness I kept this cardboard tube, which I kept meaning to throw away, but didn't get around to. That provides protection over the loom for the upper layer. It will then go along underneath um, the board and come out, and I'll have it coming out through a tunnel, and it'll blend in, it'll come out after the viaduct, so it'll be sort of you know very raised, and it'll make sense, I think. I'll work it out when I get there. Um, so that's, that's the change to this section here. Looking back at the branch line, a um, little bit of tracking, fine, but I've started to build the scale model scenery units that will form a backdrop of an industrial state there. That then comes round, those houses aren't necessarily going to live there, and then we're back to the, the main station board, which as you can see, as I covered in another video, is, is fully wired in now. Bringing the main station board back in, uh, you saw all the wiring is done underneath, the track is laid here, and tested, um, seems to work. I don't know why I sound so surprised, but I am. And also the basis of the platform is in. This is uh, made of a couple of sections of 18 mil MDF, so it's the, it's the correct height. And I've sealed it with a PVA glue-based undercoat paint for MDF, done multiple coats. Now it'll be a question of sorting out the edges, you know, angling them down and then, then dressing them properly, doing the overhangs and, and all that sort of stuff, for which I've got a, a kit um, from Scalebot and Scenics, which I can then use. I haven't worked out what's happening with the station element yet. I will sort that out once it actually arrives and I've built it. Um, that's not a, not a priority right now. Uh, it'll, it, the, the, the idea now is to just sort of build that circle round, or the curve round I should say, um, and then attach it to the um, viaduct which will mean starting to do some different level 
um, scenic structure give me that sort of ramp. So it is starting to come together. Really a priority actually now needs to be to make sure that everything is connected from a power standpoint so I can run some trains. This platform layer is, uh, again, as I said, pre there's another couple of videos that show building of, of that board, but elsewhere around the layout, I've just got dropper cables hanging down for these loops here. Similarly, when I quickly move back to the dockyard, those are all wired in and there are cables here. So I need to start connecting all that up and then dressing, you know, tackling the points here which I know is going to cause me a great deal of angst, but there we go, it's got to be done. Um, I'm also going to carry on building more of these scenics so I can build that wall up there, which of course means I really need to put my, my rear scenic boards back on because I've only got one. Um, so that's the plan. That's where we are right now. Uh, any comments, tips or tricks, please reach out, let me know. I'm making this up as I go along and appreciate any feedback. Uh, please remember to subscribe for more videos coming out um, and thanks for watching.